What's up everybody, Omega Project Zero here. How's everybody doing out there? Just checking in with you, letting you know how everything's going out here. I was coming to see the chickens again. I already collected the eggs for the day, but everyone seems to be happy. And the clouds look pretty crazy back here. Just sipping on my coffee that I got like halfway like midday and uh i'm still working on it it's like four shots mocha uh, mocha large mocha in this little tiny shack coffee shop thing it's really cool it's about 25 minutes away so i'll be going there a lot um so yeah everyone's doing really well I already collected all the eggs for the day i do have a little more a little bit more water to fill in their containers i'll actually show you uh how i do the watering situation and the uh feed containers because i feel like that's very important if you want to keep a lot of chickens and yeah let me shut this off i'm always like paranoid i'm gonna zap myself there but yeah look at them hi gurus hi Everyone just to never get enough of the grass. So that's why like having the open pasture and being able to move this along, is gonna be really amazing. So tomorrow is actually a really big day because it's gonna be the first time where I actually move these large coops. I got a massive chain to pull them. It is like a 6,000 pound uh, weight limit on it but I think that will be fine. And it's gonna be interesting how I'm gonna hook it up, but it should be fine. Oh wow, I actually did it with one, I actually got the thingy open with one hand this time. But yeah, man, this is just gonna be kind of a rambling video, kind of just checking in with y'all. To be honest, I wish I could play a little bit of games, but like video games, but. There's just always so much to do and, you know, I can't just uh, get distracted. Even though there's a real, lot of really good games out there. <laughs> I've been wanting to try out the new Call of Duty, but I just hear it's garbage, so I'm not even going to bother. Um, so, yeah, these are, I don't need to show you the nesting bars, but these have been working out really well. They love those. I put some kind of makeshift ones in this one. It was just some extra wood that I had around. It's kind of been sitting, so it's not the best quality wood, but, oh, I forgot to put this down. Whoops. But they were already done laying for the day. So, what's up? But yeah, I love all these chickens. They're so wonderful. Uh, we had lost a ton of chickens back at our other location as we were learning so much with the really difficult summers here in Texas we uh, had to figure out how to cool the chickens and I ended up using the misting system that's the only way to go there's no other way if you're dealing with heat casualties for your chickens you have to use a misting system all right um, I'll have to demonstrate that at some point I'm not sure how I'm gonna make that work here. It's gonna to have to be a, some sort of a mobile system and we don't even have water yet. So not really sure how that's gonna work, but yeah, we'll have to have water by the time summer hits, but I'll be keeping y'all like, uh, keeping y'all updated. But I'm really excited to move this to a new spot, even though there's still a good amount of grass here. I just want them to have as fresh of grass as possible. I'm gonna try to move it up this way. I think the other challenge is just how to move it without messing up the chickens or hurting anyone. Um, I'm gonna figure that out on the fly. But here, here's the uh, waters, waters right now. They're small waters. They're just these little nipple cup things. And I've been filling these buckets back up. But see, these are BPA-free food grade buckets. 
and they're really cheap to get. And uh, as far as the feed container, we have a larger feed container here. It holds a nice amount. It holds about two bags of feed. I'm actually gonna refill this as well, probably tomorrow. The feed has been uh, kind of a tough situation, but right now it's been all cutting. The feed cost has been going down, of course, because they're, they've been out, of, out here getting all the grass. Look at this. This girl right here is a um, Russian Orlov. Very interesting uh, breed. We only got three of them uh, because that's all there was. Oh, there's the, I think that's a rooster. He's not too excited yet, but uh, I'm probably gonna take him out of here. He's not gonna be in with them. But I haven't seen any for sure signs. It's just the way that he's standing. Yeah, see how he st stands much taller like that? That's generally a rooster. I mean, I could probably find out too just by like seeing how like wild he is. If I pick him up, he'll probably be super wild. But yeah, these this is the way to go for feed for sure. The water, I'm gonna figure out a better way. As far as the, I know with the PVC pipe going to like a very large um, container out here would be the best way to go. But then you have to move that container along. So we're going to figure out something else. But this is the other coop right now. But I'm just keeping these filled with the water from a, from a pond over there. And uh, we're getting there. And of course, we'll just keep expanding and then planning to get some uh, goats very soon. It's, it, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be goats, maybe sheep, I'm not sure. We have an area for them over there. Um, it's like a 50 foot thing. I just have to build like some sort of a lean, lean to type structure that's gonna keep them uh, comfortable. And this is our most important guy right here, as I pointed out before. None of the hawks have been coming around. Um, it's really awesome. They think that this owl, he's just like stone cold boss who just sits there 24 <laughs> seven. They're like, well, we're not messing with him. Um, but yeah, I still wanna add these like reflective thingies that I have over here. I've just been putting that off that I can hang. And they're supposed to be really nice uh, for hawks as well. But yeah, guys, uh, just checking in. I mean, and I just wanna remind you why this is so important to be doing, not just to have as a business, but to be sustaining yourself and your family. Um, I encourage anyone that, you know, maybe living in a city or just is thinking about one day, like doing some farming stuff, everyone should be doing some some type of gardening or, or uh, animal husbandry for your family's benefit. Um, I was a police officer before I got, I left the police department in 2020. I was there for six years. I left on my own cord and in good standing, but I just wanted to get into like being able to, to sustain our own family. Got a lot of work to do. This is just the beginning. So stay tuned. If you want to just know day to day, what I got going on, I'm about to move these coops tomorrow. So I'll be checking in with y'all then. You all have a great night. Later, everybody.